If I have $1,000 and needed an entire new PC gaming setup, this is exactly what I would buy. Let's have a look. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a tour around all of these components that make up a $1,000 full PC gaming setup. And if you're new here and you wanna see other PC hardware or PC setup guides just like this one, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's check this out. Today's video is brought to you by, wait for it, yeah, World of Warships. That's right, this ZTT video is now on the World of Warships train, or boat, I should say, with all of the other YouTube content that I'm sure you've seen is sponsored by them as well. The reason this video is sponsored by World of Warships is because it's actually a worthy game of flooding all your YouTube videos that you're watching because it's a thinking man's action game as it found the perfect balance of action and strategic gameplay. In World of Warships, which is free to play by the way, you command a massive naval fleet that features the world's most iconic war vessels such as the USS Indianapolis that allow you to dominate the oceans in some intense online gameplay. There's an incredible amount of detail in not just the hand-designed boat replicas from 3D scans of real life vessels, but also even the weather effects that create unique challenges throughout the game. Every week there's new missions and updates to keep you coming back, and if you haven't started yet, my link down in the description will be a huge help with all of the bonuses. By using my link and the invite code BATTLESTATIONS2020, you'll start off your account with 250 doubloons, 3 days of premium game time, 1 million credits, one port slot, and even a premium ship, the USS Charleston. Head on down to that link in the description to check out the action and strategy game that you've been searching for, and don't forget to use the invite code BATTLESTATIONS2020. Alright, so jumping straight into it, we absolutely have to start with the gaming PC, and this should look familiar to you if you've been following the channel for a bit. I uploaded an entire dedicated video on how to build this $550 new gaming PC, which you can check out in the top right hand corner, but if you haven't seen it already, I'll quickly rattle off the important parts. For the CPU, you, it's rocking a 6 core Ryzen 5 1600, which we all know has a ton of value with the recent price drops, 16 gigabytes of RAM, an 8 gigabyte ASRock RX 580, and that's all inside this beautiful Fantex Eclipse 360X case. Now I'm probably going to catch a little bit of flack for only spending $550 on the PC in a $1000 setup guide, that means we're going to buy some pretty expensive peripherals, but I know a lot of you are okay with it, and I'm certainly okay with it, so let's just move on. You definitely do have the option to spend like $800 on the gaming PC and get a bunch of cheap peripherals, but in my opinion, I would rather spend some extra money on those so you're able to enjoy all of the advantages that the world of PC gaming has to offer outside of just the PC itself. With that being said, the first peripheral up is the monitor, and this here is the Dell D2719 HDF, which I've also made a dedicated review video for. This monitor is getting trickier and trickier to find in stock, mind you, so you might have to start sniping that link down in the description. I have everything linked down there, by the way, but when it does go on sale, it's usually around $190. It's rocking a 27-inch 1080p 144Hz FreeSync display with a 2 millisecond response time and this is one of the best 144Hz monitors that's on the market for less than 200 bucks. Next up we get to our keyboard and mouse and both of these parts were actually sent by Fnatic for this video and I'm pretty happy that they sent these parts over because I probably wouldn't have tried them but I'm definitely glad that I did. First up is the keyboard and this is the Fnatic Mini Streak 10 keyless keyboard which by the way is my first ever 10 keyless board and this has been my go-to benchmarking keyboard for a few months now. You can choose which switch to put in here. I personally went with reds because they are usually my favorite. I really love the attached wrist rest and the overall build quality is just on a very high level with the pretty much all metal design. Moving on to the mouse, this is the Clutch 2 Signature Edition which costs $65. The OG Clutch 2 is only $55 but I wanted the black and white version FYI. This is definitely going to be my go-to benchmarking mouse as well for a long time because I didn't actually realize that this was the type of mouse that I'm better at with gaming until I started using it. It's a way bigger mouse than what I'm used to but now it feels the most natural out of any thing and the button clicks just feel like they were made for eSport athletes. I'm not trying to oversell the product on this one, it's just the clicks on this mouse it's really hard to explain. It, they just feel super accurate and the tracking of the mouse feels super accurate. I just feel like I perform better as a gamer when I use this straight up. Moving on past the Fnatic parts, we get to the headset and this here is the Corsair Void RGB Elite Wireless and I actually also have a dedicated video where I went really in depth on this thing in the upper right hand corner. To be honest, one of the main reasons why I'm picking this is because of its white and black design, but at its new price on Amazon of just $80, this is actually one of the best wireless gaming headsets on the market right now. 
now. Finally, the last part that I have to round out this $1,000 full PC gaming setup is the mouse pad. And this is just a very simple Vic T-Sing mouse pad that costs only $6. And there's not much to say other than it just works. I like how it's super clean and minimal and lays perfectly flat. And I actually buy these for people at my day job because I trust them so much. So there you have it. That's the entire $1,000 PC gaming setup guide for here in early 2020. But I wanna hear from you guys at how you would spend $1,000 if you were creating an entire PC gaming setup in the comment section down below. Well, that wraps up my version of the $1,000 full PC gaming setup. Like I said, just drop a comment down below and let me know what you would do with the $1,000 or what you would personally change with my setup. After that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet and definitely hit that subscribe button because coming up next, I think we're finally checking out that gaming laptop. You don't want to miss that video.